March 31st, 2019. We lost most of our snow in Ontario. But we got a little cold spell and a little storm. It's been a weird year. And we got next to no snow. So this year, this is actually quite accessible. We're the weekend warrior scene, my son and I. <laughs> So this is the trail that I like to call Total Ontario. I'm kind of making my YouTube channel off of it right now. Or at least I want to get some really good footage because of all the years that I've been going here since the, since pretty much 2000. That's when I got my first Honda bike and put some mud bugs on it. Just had a blast. I friggin' had to leave this bike in here or the Honda 450 in here a few times and walk home because it was just so deep and sucked in there. I never had a winch on the old bike though. Just always found a friend that would help pull you out eventually. Actually, a lot of cases you get have fun from working it for a couple hours and getting a good set of tires. But I have one video of an XMR, a 2016 XMR. I met this guy and he wanted to take the hole. And it did not work out very well. He buried it. But it showed that the Visco lock worked. This is, this is not the kind of mud holes you would pin it through, all right? There's, there's nothing flat. Everything has contour. If you think you're just gonna hop over this little mud hole, and if you land in this, this is four feet down in there. Kinda wedges you all in there. And then they say it's the, the way it's contoured. You have to be able to ride it. You have to be able to back up take many different lines and runs and then this where the XMR just laid her deep he did not like that at all and there's actually you think you're gonna go drive around on it guys have dropped a tree down just because on the other side of this there's actually one crazy 
nasty hole. People stick sticks in there to realize it's like six or seven feet deep. And then the big guys think, oh, I'll drive around here. And then this is another nasty, nasty hole that continues off of it. Yep, I'm looking forward to this. I want to get dirty. This is this is not pick your hole and see how much power you get through it. This is a playground. This is another really cool spot. I'm really hoping for the the when I get the tires, this the machine is gonna really perform well. But I got a previous video, I called it Skig Timber in Ontario. And I made it to about here. So where the four wheelers parked, I didn't even make it. I just spun around there. This would have been the last little bit. Standing right on top of the mud hole right now. And this. This shows how deep it is. So I'm so... I gotta watch it slippery. My arms aren't long enough. Alright, alright. So there's a stick that I pulled out. And the mud goes all the way up to there. I don't know how easy is it to see. This is going to be a lot of fun. This thing's pretty much going to front end's going to float most of this. See how high you can get with some 32 inch tires. That's the last little skeg of this little spot. And it is wicked, wicked deep with solid skeg.